good everybody this is your boy justin kicks coming at you with a new installment of real heat a hype beast um this week man i, I ain't gonna lie to you i'm coming to you a little different uh discussing a shoe that i never thought i'd be doing a review on uh not because the the shoe is not a good shoe it's just a shoe that's not usually on my radar uh and actually three of them are releasing this week um, and the shoe I'm discussing, the model that I'm going to be talking about, uh, is the Jordan 34. Jordan 34, I, I really, you know, I'm in my forties, been a long time since I was hooping. Uh, and I usually stick to shoes that have some kind of nostalgia or something like that, that has happened in my, my life that I remember having the shoe before playing in the shoe, something of that nature. Uh, I don't usually pay a ton of attention to Jordans that are, strictly on court uh have all the technology to be for basketball i leave that to the hoopers man you know what i'm saying but this week jordan is releasing three jordan air 34 pe's one for zion williamson one and i do not want to disrespect this man's name but it's Ryu or, or rue hachimura and then for jason tatum uh now all three look fire to me but the one that i'm uh, focusing on for real heat or hype beat hype beast is that Jason Tatum man that Jason Tatum one has I don't know how many animal prints on it it's it's uh, and Jason Tatum himself uh, for you all that don't know because I know a lot of people just buy shoes they don't really know the history or pay attention to who it belongs to or anything like that Jason Tatum is um, I think he might be in his second or third year in the league he was a five-star can't miss athlete out of St. Louis who uh, McDonald's All-American and uh, uh, basically come down to it. I think he had three schools left on his choices for colleges. He had Duke, North Carolina and Kentucky. Unfortunately, he picked the, the he missed out on the good school, which was North Carolina and went to Duke. Now, I'm not going to hate on him because he did ball out at Duke. And in his short time in the NBA, man, he's balled out as well. He was a first time all-star this year and was balling out before COVID shut down everything. Um, in fact, the, his rookie year, the Celtics made a good run in the playoffs and it was really had a lot to do with him and Brown who balled out for the Celtics that year. And I think was a big reason why they wasn't worried about Kyrie uh, Irving leaving. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew they had this kid and they know he's a big time player. But anyway, Jason Tatum PE, it comes out this weekend. Now this shoe here, like I said, it has different animal print on it and it actually has welcome to the zoo on the back of it. And the reason that it is this shoe is dedicated or in tribute to his son, Deuce. Yeah, his son Deuce who loves the zoo. And in fact, Jason Tatum mentions that this is kind of based on when he was in Australia and would have private tours of the zoo with his son and he could go up and touch all the animals and really enjoy that and had a great time with it. So that's where this tribute comes from. Now, Jason Tatum, like I said, hasn't been in the league that long, but has had quite a few uh, PEs already, uh, especially with this Jordan 34. He's had one, of course, based on the Celtics colorway. He's had some based on like some of his favorite cartoons and things of that nature. So he's no, this is no surprise that he's getting one. The only difference with this one and that I like is Jordan is putting his PE out and calling it that they're not changing it they're not giving it to him and then giving us a version that's a little different this is a PE that he will wear that is the exact same shoe that we're getting right so in the past most times when we get a shoe it's like the PE like the Jordan 12 that came out it was a Gary Payton PE but they changed it a little bit it didn't have any of his name or anything like that on it so this one is actually pretty much as close as you're going to get to a PE without it being the one made exactly for Jason Tatum. You know what I'm saying? Not getting his particular shoe that he wore. You're getting a, the closest version that you're going to get to a player exclusive. So I really like that. And I think that goes for all three of these shoes that's being released this weekend. Now, the Jason Tatum shoe, it comes out uh, with this one's different because it's actually getting an exclusive release on the 29th on Concepts. Concept.com is going to be releasing it exclusively on the 29th, which is Wednesday. And then you're getting a bigger release through the Nike, the sneakers app on Friday. Now, based on what I'm seeing, that's the only two places that's gonna have this sneaker. The other ones, I think they're limited as far as the, the places are releasing it as well. Now, so in my mind, that makes me think production is gonna be pretty low on these. Now, I, I, again, 
I'm not a hooper. I don't get a lot of the new Jordan models, so I'm not an expert on the sizing on this shoe. I've never had one on. I don't know that I've even held one in person. So I'm going to be going with, I'm a normal size 13. I know in newer shoes, they're sometimes a little bit more snug and tight. So I am going to go with a 14 in these and hope that that works out. So I may be looking at some other people's stuff to see if they have some sizing info on this. But as far as with me, I'm going to be going with the, the size 14, uh, uh, which is a size up for me now uh the price on these is 195 195 is the price for these you're going to be getting two releases the exclusive one on concepts which i'm gonna tell you probably be hard to, to hit if it's I, I, i'm gonna tell you what the last few weeks you know it's been kind of hard for me to get anything i missed on the jordan 12s tried all day couldn't get through i even tried to get them uh which i really want was an iverson uh question with the pink toe I got through on the site, got through PayPal. Looks like it took my money and then it gave my money right back. So I don't know what happened. Uh, but anyway, back on to this kick right here. As you can tell how I've been talking through this whole uh, video, um, I'll go ahead and give this my stamp of approval right now. The Jason Tatum Air Jordan 34 uh, Zoo, I think is what the official name is. Uh, it's getting a stamp of approval. This is the real heat right here for me. All three of them are real heat to me. And um, again, any, you, as, if you follow me, you know I'm a sucker for a good story on a sneaker. If it has any kind of good background that means something, I'm a sucker for it. I, sometimes necessarily how the shoe look is not as important as what the shoe means. And the fact that this sneaker has a good storyline, it's in tribute to his son who loved animals and going to the zoo and they did a tribute to that, I, I'm sold. I'm so I think the Zion had a great story too and like I said I'm not doing the review on that but I think his is uh his brother went to the uh, Nike meeting with him and colored in a coloring book while he was there so they're giving that shoe out with the coloring book and um it looks like some a kid is colored on some shoes so another another great idea so uh, anyway again the real heater hype beast this is a heat for me a real heat the Jordan 34 zoo Jason Tatum PE. I like the ball player. He, you know, I think he's the future, one of the big pieces, future of the, you know, you got Giannis, you got a lot of guys out there. He's going to be on that short list of, of top players in the next 10 years. Jason Tatum is going to be that guy, whether he stays in, in Boston or not. Jordan knew quick. Jordan jumped on him. They, they know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they know what they're doing. So again, Real Heat Hype Beast, another episode in the books. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, let me know if you're going for the Jordan 34, any of the three that's coming out this week. Let me know as a sneakerhead, someone that loves sneakers, let me know, do you pay much attention to the new basketball silhouettes to come out? Unless, let me say it again, for the people who don't play basketball, if you play basketball, of course you're going to be checking for it because you're still hooping in it. But I'm talking about the old heads, the ones that aren't playing sports, that do it more for style. Let me know, are you going out and checking for Air Jordans or Nikes or any model that is a newer basketball shoe with the technology stuff they have now? Uh, and if, if it's something you pay attention to, I, I, I'm honest, I really don't. This one caught my eye because I saw the look of the shoe, the, the, the animal print on there. I mean, you got zebra, giraffe, leopard. I mean, it's all over the place, man. And Jordan has a history and Nike has a history of making some shoes look fire with the, the animal prints on them. So I'm not mad at that. But let me know what you all think about these. Let me know if you're going for them. Uh, other than that, man, you know I got the big giveaway coming up with 1,500 subscribers. It's going to be big. Uh, I'll be the sooner closer we get to that to let you I'll let you know exactly what that giveaway is going to be But it of course it will be big It'll be bigger than the last one uh, Make sure you are subscribed to the channel Make sure you like share comment all those good things Let me know if it's something specific you want to see on the channel want some sneakers you want me to review I got some new stuff that I've ordered that's come in that I've been trying to get my hands on So I'll be uh, showing you those as well other than that, man, this is Justin Kicks. I appreciate y'all checking me out, and I'm going to holler at you next time, man. Peace.